Let us talk about hell. Hell is a fire. Hell is a place that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has already created. And when Allah created the hellfire, He said, O oh Jibreel, go and look at my hellfire. And the angel Jibreel, he looked at the hellfire. He went to Allah and he said, O oh Allah, anyone who hears about the hellfire, they will never go into it. And then Allah surrounded the hellfire with temptations, with ease. And then Allah said to Jibreel, now go and look at my hellfire. And Jibreel came back and said, Allah, I'm afraid that nobody will escape it. Many, many ayat of the Quran and the authentic sunnah, they tell us about the punishment that happens to the face, like the ayat that we mentioned previously, that the molten, bawling, scolding, murky oil would be poured on the face of the people, disfiguring them. So one of the ways that Allah disfigures those people who disbelieved in Him, rejected His ayat, made shirk with Him, fought against His prophets and the awliya, is that they'll be dragged over the coals on their faces, is that different things will happen to them in their faces, to be disfigured and other than And the hellfire is a place of the most extreme suffering, the most extreme pain, of every level that you can imagine, physical, mental, spiritual pain and suffering and torment. It is a place where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He will burn the skins of the people and then He will recreate their skins and burn the skins again so that the people in there will taste the punishment. It is a place of heat, a place, a place of pain, a place of suffering. The people will cry in agony for water. They will cry for a drink, something to cool them, and they will be given a water. They will be given a drink, but it is a boiling water that will scald their faces and burn their insides. Not only is it immensely wide, but it is very deep. And in the hadith found in Sahih Muslim, one day the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he was sitting around with his friends, with his companions, with his Sahaba, radiallahu anhum wa ardahum. May Allah be pleased with them all. And Abu Huraira says, we were in the company of Allah's Messenger when we heard a loud sound. And the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, do you know what sound is this that you just heard? And they said, Allah and His Messenger know best. He said, that is a stone which was thrown 70 years before in hell. And it has been constantly dropping down and now it has reached its base. The, the heat of Jahannam is, it is not an ordinary fire. You, fire. you find your fire is one of the 70 portions of the hell fire. Would it not be sufficient? to burn human beings one portion of the hellfire. Because no individual can place their hand on the fire. Because the, the fire of this dunya is sufficient to burn an individual. But yet Allah subhanahu wa the hellfire has been created from 69 more portions than the ordinary fire, worldly fire, and all of them are as hot as this worldly fire. al hadith ma rahu Imam Bukhari. So 70 more times hotter than the hottest fire in this world. And they will drink 
from a river, a river that is made from the pus that flows out of the wounds of the people of the hellfire. The wounds of the people of the hellfire will ooze pus and this pus will gather together to form a river and this is all they will have to drink and their food will be the tree of Zakum, a tree the fruits of which are like the heads of devils and this tree is so bitter that if the people when they try to eat it they can't eat it but they will force themselves because there is nothing else to eat in the hellfire a place where the people will neither live nor will they die as for those people their faces are blackened on that day it will be said to them, have you disbelieved after you were a believer? After Allah took a covenant from you that there is no God worthy of worship except Him and He created you on the fitrah, have you disbelieved after that? Then taste the punishment of the fire because of that disbelief of yours. The smallest punishment of the hellfire, the smallest punishment of the hellfire is that a person will wear a pair of sandals of fire and their brain will boil that's the smallest punishment and they will think that they have the worst punishment but it is the least punishment the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam teaches us dua to protect us from the fire Allahumma inni a'udhu bika min adhabi jahannam Min, this is from the dua of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam that we learn to say at the end of the salah. So before you say Assalamu Alaikum to your right in the salah, during any salah, not only the obligatory salah, but also the optional salah, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam taught us to seek refuge and protection in Allah from four things. Allahumma inni a'udhu bika min adhabi jahannam wa min adhabi al-qabr that you find in the ration, that he, Allah protect me from the fire. Whoever says that, will be protected from the fire. But we don't seek refuge from the fire. We take it as a trivial action. Nothing important in our life. And they all die from Mahar Ramad. Gossiping, slandering, backbiting, cheating, stealing, evil speech, evil actions. Even glances, all of this. In the summer when Basra, when Fuwa the Kudu Lake, I gather under Masuna, all your faculties of seeing, of hearing, of listening, all be asked by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Kudu Lake, I gather under Masuna. That I can even the Muslim think that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will just leave me alone. No Muslim should think that. Person should weep about their life, that every single thing that they've done in their life. And I hope that Allah subhanahu will cover all these things up. Just like He covered everything about us in this dunya, He covers it up in the akhirah as well. Let the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, uh, knew about this boy, the Jewish boy, who was a, a very good boy, you know. And he was dying. Prophet Sallallahu went to him because he kept asking for the Prophet. Mm. So they sent for the Prophet Sallallahu to come. And when he went to the boy, the boy just looked up into his eyes and, and the Prophet Sallallahu just knew, you know, he just knew. And he told him, Kula ilai Allah. Mm. Say there's none to worship except Allah. Give the Shahada. And he did it. A shadow of that. A shadow of Muhammad Rasulullah. And the boy expired. And the Prophet ﷺ was seen leaving, was smiling. So much they could see his molar teeth. He was smiling. And he was happy. He said, this is one who is saved from the fire.